Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, we're starting to wander into the idea of doing animations of various sorts. Um, and uh, in class the other day, I showed how a function called lerp, uh, linear interpolation, works. Um, here it is in the reference. Um, and it's a little bit, this is one of those that's a little bit difficult to maybe understand uh, just in the documentation, so you can take it out and play with it a little bit. Um, the parameters, though, are pretty easy. The idea is that there's a start value and a, s a stop value, and then the amount. So the amount would be, I consider this like a percentage. Um, and this goes from zero to one. It's what we call a normalized value. It says this up here. Um, the parameter is the amount to interpolate between the two values, where zero is equal to the first point, and um, Point one is very near to the start point. Maybe easier to think of this as point five would be halfway between point number one and point number two. And again, these are just numbers. So I could interpolate between lots of different things. In this case though, we're gonna use this to figure out how to move between an, uh, two different X and Y locations. Um, and uh, if you really wanna get into the math of this, um, uh, here is a uh, <laughs> trusty Wikipedia. You can get into all this math if you really want to do it. Um, we're not going to do that, though. Uh, you can see here we have two points. This is the um, x and y zero, and then we have uh, x and y one. So these are the two red points. And if I were to say um, uh, x zero and x one, right, in the interpolate, right, so if this was uh, the uh, lerp, so if this was the start and stop, if this were x0 and this were x1, and I would say x2 uh, two equals the lerp of x1, uh, sorry, x0 to x1, 0 0.5, or half of the way there, you can see that this is halfway in between these two locations, and obviously I'd have to do the same math for the y, because the object is moving so many units over in the X and so many units up in the Y. All right, let's see what this means uh, in our code, though. So the first thing, instead of animating this, I just want to show it and show how this dynamically works. So, but I am gonna create a set of variables that we're gonna use. So I'm, I'm gonna call uh, let um, X, in fact, let's call this X1 and Y, X1, x2, y1, y2. So um, if you haven't seen this before, if you have a string of variables, you can just say let once and then just um, declare what the variable is and use a comma. And when you're done declaring the whole load here, let's go ahead and uh, end with a, a semicolon. So uh, the first one, x1, um, I'm gonna make that equal to uh, the middle of the screen. Oops. And the y1 is going to be equal to the height divided by 2. So it's going to be the middle. And then I'm going to do something uh, interactively uh, on the second one. So <coughs> I'm going to do a circle, x1, y1, and we'll just call this uh, 50. Oops. And then we'll do a second circle, and this one I'm gonna make this equal to mouse x <coughs> and mouse y, and again, 50. And just so we can see uh, the connection to the two, if you wanna think of it that way, um, uh, when how the lerp is functioning, we're gonna set this up for later. So we're gonna say x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. <coughs> so let's analyze this. So we're gonna draw a circle uh, at these uh, locations, so we've we've declared some variables. We've actually assigned them values here. Oops, sorry. And then the I meant to do this. Uh, x two. That was my bad. Equals mouse x. And this will just be easier to illustrate the concept if I make these variables. It's also easier to write or change them out later. So this would be x two. Right, so the first set of x and y coordinates um, are gonna be the middle of the screen. The second set of x and y coordinates are gonna be wherever the mouse is. And so I'm gonna draw two different circles at these locations and draw a line in between them. 
right? So you can see, ooh, it's almost back to our very beginning uh, drawing assignment, some fun things we might do with this. Uh, anyway, so let's, <laughs> we don't want to big, make a big mess of this. Let's go ahead and put the background uh, in the draw. Right, so we can see right, where these locations are. So what if, no matter where I move my mouse, what if I wanted, and I can't <laughs> move my mouse to, to show this, but halfway in between this line, how would I uh, put a, um, another circle directly halfway in between these two points, right? So let's create uh, two more. And I'm going to do this in a separate one so I can kind of illustrate that the, this is a new, oops, x3 and y3. <coughs> And then, uh, so these are going to be two new variables, and x3 is going to be equal to the lerp, okay, the linear interpolation between x1 and uh, x2, and then I'm going to put 0 0.5. So this is a fixed point, right? We've said that uh, x1 is equal to the center of the screen, or at least from a width standpoint. <coughs> And then y, or, or sorry, x2 is where the mouse is. This is going to be calculated every single time. And we want the new value for this to be halfway in between these, right? It's not going to animate. Well, I guess it is going to animate. We'll see this in a second. Um, but it's always going to be locked down. I'm not going to try to make it move closer or further away from these two points. I'm always going to make it 50% of the way in between these two points. And then let's do the same thing here. Um, X2 and Y, oops, what I need is a Y1 and Y2, and again we'll do 0.5, <coughs> and uh, all we need is another circle, right? <coughs> Why did I make those 50? Let's make this one 100. Oops, uh, X3, Y3. So the first x and y is a fixed point in the center of the screen. The second x and y, for each one of these circles, is going to move directly underneath my mouse. And the third set of x and y is going to be placed um, halfway in between these two sets of coordinates. Right. So this is uh, kind of a dynamic uh, rigging setup. <coughs> So there's lots of different things we could uh, we could do with this. Right, so this is the static version of that. So, but how would we make the big circle move from the center of the screen towards the um, uh, the circle out here where my mouse is? Right. So um, <laughs> and this could compound very quickly. So that this moves very slowly. I'm just going to say. 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Um, and what we're going to do is move from, I guess I'm going to have to assign these. We're going to start with x3 also equaling uh, the width. In fact, let's start with it just equaling x1 and x, oops, y3 equaling y1. So what I want to do is um, animate the, the big sphere starting at the center and moving its way out to the, the circle wherever my mouse is. So I need it to start in the center because that's its starting point, right? And then, so x1 here. But we need this to change over time. So we want to start x3 and y3 at the same location. In fact, maybe we'll just do it this way, so it's maybe helpful for everyone to see it this way. Maybe that's confusing to see it equal to two different sets of variables. Right, so they're both these x, the starting position and the one that we're going to animate, uh, the, the third set of x and y, they're going to start at the center of the screen, and they're, we want them to move towards the, these locations, um, the x and the y, I guess. So what we're going to do is put x3, and this is what we did in class, and y3. So 
what it's going to do is say this is the starting location and move a very small percentage of the way um, towards this number. I mean, together this is going to be a location, but we're just saying this number is should be trying to get to this number, and here is uh, the speed with which we or the percentage of the way that we want you to go along that route. And we're doing the same thing for the um, the y coordinate, right? Because we're just taking these numbers, point A, point B, and the rate that we move between those two numbers. Let's see what we get here. <clears throat> right, so you can see it moves pretty slowly towards the end, just because when it gets really close to it, 0.01% is not a lot, right? But now we've created an interesting uh, animation. And in class, what we did is we actually assigned kind of rigid fixed points um, to these locations. But you could animate this uh, in an interactive sense, right? You know, you could maybe animate this so that it is following this direction. Or you can just do this almost like a little game. Right? And if we want this to happen quicker, uh, we'll just turn this up just a little bit. We're still using some pretty small values. Right? Catch me if you can. So pretty cool. Um, all right, just about 12 minutes. So let me recap. I did this different than I did in class. Um, hopefully this reinforces what we did in class together. We all coded together. But this shows a way of um, making this more interactive, but also the, con uh, the concept that we're just going from, let's do some uh, notations here. I should have done this before. Move in a linear fashion from root. I we should say from uh, number one to number two at a defined rate. Okay. So from whatever this number is, uh, if, if we wanted to in the printout, <coughs> Um, we could just say go from zero to a hundred and do it in a little, you know, each little step of the way. The, the trick here is that we have to make sure that whatever number that we're starting at in the LERP is also what it's going to be equal to so that it keeps closing the distance. And as it closes the distance, it keeps moving 10% of the way there or 0.1% of the way there. All right. We'll play this again. So much fun. I think maybe you, you can see that thing moves very fast when it's based on a percentage. So its speed is dependent on how far away it is. And it will ease in there. So as you can imagine, this gets done quite a bit uh, in animation programs in the tools that you get to use. All right, hope that helps.